The number one biggest power move you can make is to actually walk away. When you walk away, you signify and signal value out and that is extremely attractive to other people. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why walking away is the biggest power move you can make. I'm going to show you what not to do and why the opposite of that ends up pushing them away. And also, I'm going to show you the mistakes to avoid when doing this because when done correctly, not only will you feel safe within yourself, you feel like you don't need anyone else to come around and you'll maintain your power and that changes everything as a reflection. Now, this reminds me of a experience in my own life where I used to do the opposite of this. What I would do is I would be in a relationship with somebody, and especially I remember this in the first relationship I was ever in, where I would choose someone sometimes that also wasn't entirely choosing me. And what I would then do is if they would pull back at all, I would then think there was something wrong with me and I would try to change that and I would try to control the situation. And by um, being overly like alert to what they wanted to what they needed by reaching out to them, it would then actually push them away and have the opposite effect. But in the first relationship I ever had, I learned the power of walking away and it had the opposite effect of what I actually thought. So what happened was, this was one of my first relationships after, uh, from seven to 15, I had like no freedom at all, wasn't allowed to date, wasn't allowed to go to school dances or anything like that. Had a controlling ex-stepmom in my life. My dad divorced her when I was 15 years old. All of a sudden I have all this freedom. At about 17, that was when I had my first girlfriend. And it was uh, a relationship where it was like I wasn't fully being chosen and I was okay with that. I was like staying in the relationship. I remember at one point uh, there was this school dance and instead of us going to the school dance together, she went with an ex-boyfriend and a lot of her friends and other people were like, that's so messed up. I didn't even think it was that, I was just like, oh, well that's just, I'm not worthy or <laughs> something like that. And it was a dynamic where I uh, felt like, you know, once again, there's something wrong with me. And what ended up happening through this is it was mainly because at that time, from seven to 15, I wasn't allowed to have friends. I didn't have as much social, emotional uh, maturity, and I didn't have many friends at the time. That was one of the reasons I think that relationship was so meaningful, is because I literally had no other friends or no other friend group for the most part. What ended up happening is as her and I weren't really working out, and we were like not together anymore after a period of time, um, I started making new friends. I started to expand my social circle. Then what happened is uh, there was another girl that I was interested in that actually liked me. What ended up happening, ironically enough, is as I was moving into that, as I completely let go and I walked away from the situation because I started to understand my own sense of self-worth, and also at the time, I then would hear from other, like, other uh, girl, like, you know, girls in, in high school and stuff that they were attracted to my brother and I. Um, because we were actually then allowed to actually have our own look. We, were, we grew out our hair. We uh, were able to dress the way that we wanted because from 7 to 15, like it was very strict. We had to shave our head. It was like military almost. Um, I started to realize, oh, I'm actually worthy. Or there, not only am I worthy just because of the external stuff, but I started to feel more worthy within myself. I remember that as I started to come to this conclusion, this awareness, I completely cut ties and let that go. As I walked away from that, as I let that go, I remember at one point I got a call and this person was really desiring to get back together. They really cared about me. It all of a sudden brought all of this like dynamic to where then they started to understand and become aware of my own sense of value. And I'll never forget that because it was when I completely let go and I started to choose myself and then I started to recognize like my own sense of worth within myself and I started to uh, expand my social group and I stopped putting all the attention on that. That's when the energy completely reverted and then all of a sudden that attraction was there again. Even in a different way, I've had other, I've had other times, um, even more recently, like the last five or six years where I was in a relationship, where as soon as I took the attention off of the other person and put it on myself, the attraction like quadrupled. It was like the polarity came back. Everything shifted when I started to put the energy back on myself and I stopped almost having like a project that I had to fix. 
And that of course implies that someone is broken. But one of the main messages from this video that I want to share with you is that when you bring the energy back to yourself, when you put the energy back in your own body, that is very attractive and also that signals to the other person your own sense of value. That signals to the other person that you value you and that is what is extremely magnetic and extremely attractive. Another thing that it allows this other person to do is when you bring your energy back to yourself and you're focused on yourself and your own sense of self-worth, it then allows them to sit with their own energy without you projecting energy onto them and it allows them to actually have the space to come to their own conclusions. Because sometimes when you're trying to control a relationship dynamic and you're projecting energy at them, they feel that. And also it's suffocating. It literally suffocates them to where they feel, I can't just be me. And what ends up happening is then they just want to push away. So it has the opposite effect where what most people do is they lean in. They want the other person to come around. They're trying to fix it when it's not something to be fixed. The best thing you can do is to walk away and give them space because when you give them space, they then can come to their own conclusions. They can then come to their own realizations. That also gives them an opportunity, if you guys are meant to be together, for them to miss you. How can they miss you when you're constantly projecting energy at them? How can they miss you when even though you're not physically there, you are energetically and mentally sending them energy? They can't miss you. The only way they can miss you is if you truly give them space. And the way you give them space is by realizing that the energy you're projecting at them to fix them is because you're trying to get your own needs met. You're trying to get them to come around so that you can increase your sense of validation, your sense of approval. The answer is to stop abandoning yourself to make others happy. Realize that what the fear is, is the fear is, oh, if they leave me, then they abandon me, then that means I'm not good enough. But in fact, you've already abandoned yourself. Anytime you try to fix someone, you're abandoning yourself. Anytime you try to get somebody else to come around to understand your sense of self-worth and to validate you, you abandon yourself. Anytime you choose somebody else that's not choosing you, you abandon yourself. So the answer to this, stop doing that. Why are you doing that? <laughs> stop it. Just stop abandoning yourself for others and realize the more you choose you, and the more you walk away from something, somebody that's not choosing you, or the more that you walk away in general, and you are then in your own energy, that then also signifies to the other person that if they do desire to be in a relationship with you, they will follow you. We're all playing certain energy dynamics here in relationship. Now, I know people aren't dogs, but think about it. You got a dog. And what do you do? You chase the dog. The dog's like, I, my, my friend just posted a video of her, um, her boyfriend chasing the dog around the yard. The little dog's name's Jonah. It's like chasing Jonah, chasing Jonah, and chasing Jonah, the, the dog just runs. It's playing, it's having so much fun. But guess what happens when you walk away? The dog chases you. Why is that? Because people respond to the energy dynamic you're putting out. And the idea, the flawed premise is that if I walk away, they're going to just like, they're going to they're leave and walk away too. When in fact, when you walk away, you signify your own sense of value. You're in your own energy field and that dynamic signals a sense of self-respect. That is attractive. It's not guaranteed that if you walk away, by the way, that they're going to chase you. But it is guaranteed that if you walk away and you're doing it from a place of your own power, your own sense of self-worth, there is a guarantee that if that person wasn't meant to be in your life and they don't come around, then that's what it's meant to be. They weren't worth, they weren't in a way the person for you. They didn't have that deep, you're, you're saving yourself time. It's a win, win, win all the way around. It's funny because you believe, the belief is if I walk away, I'll never have the love again. Now realize this, there are billions of people on the planet. If you walk away and they don't chase after you like a little puppy dog, 
it's okay. You're signaling your sense of self-worth and then you're allowing space to also bring something else new into your life. You can't bring something new into your life when you're constantly worried and projecting somebody else's energy and wondering if they're gonna come around. The only way you bring something new in your life is when you start choosing yourself. Choose yourself. Choose you. You're awesome. You're amazing. You just have to choose yourself. And sometimes choosing yourself means saying no and not, in, not entertaining an energy dynamic that is not a representation of your self-respect, of your self-worthiness. And the key is bringing the energy back to you. So to recap some of the most powerful concepts from this talk that has, that has changed my life that I think can impact you in a powerful way is when you give someone else space, you allow them to come to their own conclusions. You allow them to in a way miss you. And then also you're not sending them energy so that they can actually like come to their own conclusions. So you're giving them the space, but you're not sending them energy that propels them, repels them away. And when you bring the energy back to yourself and you start choosing you and you walk away, it also is a sign of self-respect. It's a sign of self-value. It is extraordinarily attractive. And it also is a sign of self-trust and confidence within yourself because then you're signaling to the universe that there might be something out, better out there for you. You're telling the universe, if you can walk away from this, then it's gonna open up something else in your life. There's gonna be a new level of, uh, of something else that could get brought in. You attract in your life a reflection of the energy work you have done. And if you're attracting someone that's superficial, if you're attracting somebody that doesn't really choose you, then what you can do is walking away is a symbol, it is a way for you to start choosing yourself and it is a signal to the universe that says, I don't choose this anymore. When you say no to this, you will say yes to something else. So the key to understand this whole entire process is that that is what allows them to actually come back. Now, if you want to learn step by step exactly what to do energetically to bring everything back inside of your own frame, inside of your own body, so that if they're meant to come back, they will, this video right here is the next most powerful video to watch that will change your life. In this video, I'm gonna show you why they would come back and I'm gonna show you energetically how to unleash non-attached magnetic energy so that you completely transform the energy dynamic that is currently going on. Now, the first thing 